welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new and you're just finding me my name's Olivia and I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while hit the red subscribe button down below and join my channel uh, or if you are a returning subscriber hi welcome back it's always so nice to see you and by the way guys you can always find me over on Instagram I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there and that's always listed in the description box down below as well but thank you so much for clicking on this video today I'm pretty excited we have a really fun fall autumn transitioning into fall vibes kind of video and I'm showcasing H&M today I am um, more on the mid-size range I'm a size 10 12 I do have some curves I'm not someone that can just like find something super easily at a store like H&M I gotta know what I'm looking for so hopefully if you are someone that is kind of in my size range or just curvier or if you're just looking for some fall fashion inspo then I can help you out my measurements are always listed in the description box down below as well just in case you are a similar body type to me but I always find it interesting to try styles and clothes from brands where it can be a little bit more difficult to shop so I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of different styles, something for everyone. Some stuff's a little bit more casual, some things are work friendly, and then some are a little bit more edgy and just kind of fun. So I'm really excited to kind of share this little haul with you guys. I will link whatever I can as best to my ability down below. And yeah, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. We are gonna jump right into this. So if you are interested in today's little mid-size fashion haul with H&M, then stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start out with the jeans first. I'm going to explain to you why they're not for me. Um, I'm going to show you them and you're going to understand. Or you might have already seen from the previews, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But these are some cool lot style jeans and this is what they look like. And I really wanted to try them because I'm really into like vintage kind of styles right now, like a 70s kind of vibe. And I really thought maybe I would like these because I've definitely had cool lot style pants for the summer, which I like to tuck in a little tee or something like that. It's a very effortless look. So I was kind of thinking the jeans might do the same, but they just, they don't flatter me. And so these ones will not be staying around. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I don't know, I just wanted to jump outside of my comfort zone. That's something that I definitely recommend if you wanna try different styles outside of your comfort zone. Just pick up things randomly, see what they look like on you because you never know until you try. They come up at a decently high waist. I got these ones in a size 10 and they were only 20 bucks, which I thought was really great for the price. But they're cropped, so they are a little bit shorter and then they also have like a wider, like wider hem at the bottom, is that, is that correct? Um, and then that for me definitely gave it that vintage vibe along with the wash, um, the jeans themselves are that medium wash and that definitely has a vintage vibe. They also have a little button, like a little tortoiseshell button. Unfortunately, these ones aren't gonna work for me. However, I do love the sweater. So I found this sweater um, in their sale section so if you guys are, are looking, they have some really great finds in their little sale racks. This was $6. Love that. I got it in a size large. It's a little like boat neck um, sleeve in this beautiful like oatmeal beige color and I really like it. It fits really well and is just super comfortable. So this is just going to be great for transitioning into fall. And I can wear this tucked into other jeans, just not these ones, but... Anyway, so this is this outfit overall. Jeans are going back, the sweater is staying with me, but let me know what you guys think if you have tried any kind of like the vintage denim vibes because I'm looking to kind of just try new things and see what they look like. If they don't work, they don't work. But let's move on to the next outfit. How much more fun would this outfit be if I had like a little black hat to put with this it would definitely have even more of the fall vibes but I don't have one yet I'll definitely be looking for one but I wanted to kind of recreate I had an outfit in my previous Marshalls video where I had a skirt some boots and a sweater tucked in I wanted to kind of look for something like that because you guys went crazy for that 
I got a lot of messages about that outfit. So this one I thought was really cute as well because the boots are my own, by the way. I'm looking for a new pair of kind of knee-high boots for the fall. So guys, let me know if you have any good suggestions online of where I can find some um, of those types of boots. But I found this skirt, and usually you'd look at a skirt like this and definitely think, well, that's only for summer. It's that kind of lightweight material. But no, you can definitely make this more of a fall-friendly outfit. I was hoping I could wear this for work, but I don't think I can because the side split comes up so high that I don't think I could get away with that. I think I would need a, to find a way to clip it, and then I could make it work for the office. So what I did was I took this high-waisted, it's kind of like an animal print skirt and I got this one in a size 10 and it fits perfectly it is a non stretch skirt so no room to play with you have to go with kind of like the true size it comes up nice and high which I absolutely love and then I've tucked in one of their black dress shirts so I really love to do this because I love a blouse I just think that they're super flattering you can wear them dress them up and dress them down and I just love the way that this pulled this outfit together I got the blouse in a size large by the way and it is a button down it comes to a pretty decent length but I just tucked it in and I think that it works perfectly they're also really lightweight so again something easy to pair with lots of different outfits but I just love this whole fun fall outfit. Full disclosure on this outfit, I do not feel comfortable. I do not feel my best. I wanted to try something outside of my comfort zone and pick up this like leather skirt. Um, it's obviously pleather and it's this matte kind of finish. And I just don't feel like it kind of uh, flatters me in the right places. So it is a mini skirt, obviously, and I picked it up in a size 12 for two reasons. The first reason being it's a non-stretch, like there's no give to this one, and it just looked smaller. So I knew going into this one that it was going to be like that little bit tighter on me to begin with. And the other area I knew I was going to kind of feel slightly uncomfortable is the length because this is definitely a mini. So I don't know if you guys can tell. If I come up a little bit closer, it does come up nice and high-waisted. It is kind of hugging me and it does almost have like a natural tummy control, which is great. So from the side, I don't know if you guys can tell, like I would need to wear some sort of shapewear just to suck me in that little bit more because I find any type of leather or anything like that can highlight like your tummy area. So for me, I just want to kind of smooth things out and just wear a little bit of shapewear and that would just help me feel more comfortable. It is sexy, it is sassy and a little bit vampy, like especially with Halloween and things like that coming up. This could be a total great option for Halloween costume. The other thing is, is it does zip up in the back. So it zips up. It's a nice thick zipper. I will say that it's not like a flimsy thin zipper, which you need, not something I feel my most comfortable in. Um, I'm just pairing it with the blouse that I have, which is in a size large. I'll probably be like tugging it down, making sure like it's not riding up, if that makes any sense. So something fun to try. And if you guys love this type of style, then definitely check it out. They have a ton of different types of like leather skirts. This is just the one that I saw. So anyways, moving on to the next outfit. Okay, so this dress is an office wear option. I sometimes have to dress up for the office and wear something that is a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more upscale. So this dress is just a great option because it's kind of one of those easy throw on, will go with so much. It's a navy collar button down dress and I absolutely love the fit of this. It fits like a dream. I got this one in a size large and I think that it's a perfect fit. So like I mentioned, um, it has that nice collar at the top and then it has buttons all all the way down and then in the same material as the dress it's got a little built-in belt which is great because it just kind of highlights the waist area and then if I just kind of back up so you guys can see I just paired a little pair of kind of like neutral brown kind of nude heels with this and it's just really dressed up very professional super elegant and it is long it's more of a midi length 
Uh, so it's definitely, it's just, I don't know, something a little bit nicer. So I just thought I would throw it in just to share with you guys something that is more appropriate for the office. Okay, so I am aware that this outfit doesn't like scream fall, but I was really drawn to the shirt. I just love anything blue. And this light blue dress shirt, it's a little button down, I just thought was really cute. I got it in a size extra large, so I sized up just for like a good oversized fit because I knew I was gonna tuck it in. And when it's tucked in and it's like an oversized blouse, you get that kind of like really cozy, laid back feel and I feel really comfortable in this. So I think it's really cute. I've obviously rolled up the sleeves and I know it's definitely not like a cozy sweater, like typical fall, but I still was really drawn to it and I wanted to try it out. So I just paired it with a pair of these straight jeans. I love the wash of them. They're definitely like a 90s kind of look and they are in a straight fit. So if you can see at the bottom, they're not totally skinny at the leg. They are more of like a straight cut. And I think it's really flattering. I got them in a size 10 and they come up nice and high waisted. I like the back of them as well. The, the pockets are actually pretty high. And I always find that gives like a nice shape at the back. So I don't know if you can tell they're coming up super high at the back as well as the front. And they kind of almost have like a little bit of tummy control because they just have no stretch to them. They are a non-stretch jean. Sometimes I find that really problematic when it comes to any type of jean, but because they can be unflattering to curves. Like I could end up with a ton of excess at the back of the waist and it's not happening with these, which I was completely shocked at because I usually don't have luck with non-stretch jeans. They just don't fit my body that well, but these ones, however, I feel had a curvy body in mind or like, do you know what I mean? Like I just have more of like a smaller waist, thicker thighs. And so I really like the way that this one fits overall. So. These are a win, I really like the blouse, and this is just like a really comfortable and casual outfit option that I would pair with like sneakers or something like that, or even booties actually would be super cute, like a pair of tan ones or brown would be a great option with this. Okay, so the shirt is actually my own, and I hate to do that, but honestly, it's just a black little cardigan. I got it from a store here called Urban Planet, and it's really cute because it has like a little cinched in waist, um, but it's not from H&M. But I actually really do not like these jeans. These are exactly what I'm talking about in terms of a pair of jeans that doesn't work with your curves. It in fact totally works against you. It is uncomfortable. Like I'm wearing, these are called the vintage slims. I have them on in a size 10 and they're fine in terms of the fit, but it's just, they're so stiff. They do not at all conform to a curve or give me good shape. They just feel like uncomfortable if that makes any sense. I did like at the bottom of them that they were that more of like a straight fit. Um, so they're not like a skinny jean. They had that kind of look that I was looking for in terms of the fit. And I did want to try kind of like a washed out black jean. I just don't have many in my collection, but the fit is just totally off for me. Like, I don't know if you can tell at the back, but they're just kind of, they're giving a little bit of a gap, but I don't know, like it's not overly, it's just uncomfortable. Like I just, I don't like the fit. I think I just have to say, I don't like the fit. And usually I don't say that. Usually I can find something that I don't mind about them, but they're, they're just kind of uncomfortable. So for me, that's exactly what I'm talking about. When I'm looking at a jean that is a non-stretch, if it doesn't really fit and conform to curves, it's not gonna work for my body type. But again, I want to try this pair of jeans just to see if there's something I could make work, but they are not going to work for me. I did also wanna try one of these oversized little jackets. I've seen these everywhere. Everybody seems to be kind of wearing them and it's just a really lightweight, I don't even know, is it like, it's got almost like a felt feel, but that's not the material. I got it in this oatmeal color and it's just too big. I thought it might work because it's meant to be oversized. I got it in a size extra large, but it's almost like too oversized and I kind of get lost in it. I don't know how I feel about these. 
I don't know if maybe it would, it would look better if it was in a size large, which maybe would look better in terms of the fit. It is in this like oatmeal kind of color. And I just have the sleeves rolled up slightly. That could also be where I'm going wrong, but it is nice and long. I do see the appeal of these maybe actually with like a pair of leggings and like a little like white t-shirt underneath or something like that. This could be super cute because it's very cozy. Top of it, it's got a nice like collar, which I think is really, I don't know. It is really cute. I just, I need to go and try this on in like a different size. I do love H&M for their jackets and for their coats because they're really inexpensive. Let me know if you guys have tried these types of jackets because they're all the rage right now. I definitely had to try it. Okay, so I just checked and it is actually a size large. So maybe they're just meant to be super oversized like this. Cause I don't think I would do medium. Would I in this type of, sh I don't know. Let me know guys if you have any experience with this type of a jacket because I'm very new to it and I'm a little bit confused as to how to style it. So let me know if you, uh, if you happen to know. So that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it guys, but as always, I am so curious. What was your favorite outfit? Let me know in the comment section down below. I definitely love to hear from you guys. It is my favorite part about putting up a new video. So uh, let's chat, let me know what your favorite outfit was. And if you haven't already, please do remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out me and helps out my channel. And then of course, remember to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you haven't already, I definitely would love to have you stick around for future videos and also hit the alarm bell so you get notified when I post those new videos. And you can also find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there, and that's always listed in the description box down below. Yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun with all of your fall shopping ahead. I hope you have so much luck when it comes to all the fall finds. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Have the best day wherever you are, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.